Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I am continuing the Audi project. The parts actually came in a lot quicker than I thought they would. They were supposed to be here on Friday and they came here a few days earlier, which I am very grateful for. I just hope this is gonna work. So I left the car in this condition uh, since the last video. I did not touch anything and so this is the headlight for the Mazda, which I will finish up very shortly. But in this box, we have new rotors, new brake pads, and new calipers. So let's go ahead and get this box opened up and make sure we have everything to finish, finish this job. So here are the contents of the box. The listing said that this is remanufactured. Everything else should be brand new and it looks like exactly uh, what it was supposed to be. But this actually looks pretty darn new. And they got the piston all decompressed perfectly for me. New brake pads, new rotors. So we're going to jump in and take off the old stuff. Got everything disassembled. Uh, the last part is taking off the two bolts on the caliper, which is one right here. I believe it's an eight millimeter. And then the other one is right here to the brake line that goes in. And then this whole assembly should come off. That was super easy, guys. So I took off this 10 millimeter bolt. And then this one right here uh, is 11 millimeters. Pretty much put it in backwards. So right now, putting on the new rotor, just like that. Uh, then I'm putting on the caliper grabbing the rear with these two bolts and then I'll probably take off this assembly to put the pads in a little bit easier but we'll see so I didn't have to do anything put in the pads and it literally slid right on top over this and I just uh, by hand tightened the rear bolts so now I'm gonna get in there with a socket and tighten everything up and then this side should be done and we're gonna move on to the other side Honestly, this was a lot easier than I expected. I am very happy with this. Last step before you pump the brakes, don't forget to put this clip in. This is what it looks like in case you don't remember. Should go in fairly easy. So, this is loose. Expected to be loose. We'll have to put the tire on this way. You see the system, you have to catch it perfectly. Oh, there you go, so the tire mounts and actually the lug nuts hold the rotor in place with the tire so right now we are going to bleed the system and we could take this one off yeah it is very hot today and my hands were in gloves so i actually need like a needle nose thing to pull this off so the car is running our goal now is to loosen this, which I did. Now we're gonna have Dad pump it. Okay, he's gonna pump it and hold it. And then I am going to tighten this up. So as he's still applying the brake, I'm hold, well, he's holding it and I'm tightening it, that's it. This side is done guys. I am super happy. It was so easy. I can't believe it because usually with car work I struggle, you know a tight bolt a bolt that seized up or whatever the case is this Super easy. So now we're going to do this side and then take this thing through a car wash Get it cleaned up take pictures of it and get it listed Alrighty ladies and gentlemen here is the maiden voyage after getting the brakes replaced so the pedal is still soft, which it was when I got it. Uh, the thing I'm more curious about is the sticking caliper and then the vibration from the rotors, which there is none right now. But the pedal is definitely soft and I think I will need to brake earlier. I feel like it kind of stops or starts to brake at about 70% go and they work pretty good once you lay in them 
AC blows cold, which I know is a pretty big thing. Haven't really messed with that trim. It's still kind of peeling off a little bit. See, so maybe just sell it like that or find better glue than I have at home to get it done. But right now the goal is to actually take this thing through a car wash, make sure nothing leaks. Hopefully uh, it's gonna be a good clear light, a green light with no leaking. But so far, I mean, I don't feel the caliper sticking whatsoever. I let go of the gas pedal and it rolls on its own just perfectly fine. And when I apply the brakes, I'm doing 40 right now. We're gonna lay in it. So down to 20, absolutely no vibration from the pedal, the steering wheel, aces. Very happy with it. I'm watching the temperature gauge because last time I was a little bit worried about it. Uh, and it's dead center. So I actually need a little bit of gas. So we'll stop by, get gas for this thing, maybe put five, ten dollars in it, and then to the car wash we go. Yes, let's do a receipt. Oh, there we go. What is that? Unlimited premium. Yeah, that's what I thought. Set it on the side. Woo! It's leaking gas. So what I usually do on cars that I sell and don't intend on keeping long, I usually do $10, $15 at a time. So I think I'll just do 10 bucks right now. This place has a car wash, but I don't use it. I'm not a big fan. There's one, I don't know, three minutes from here. So that's where we're going. So we made it to the car wash. It's in front of me. Oh, there we go. Let's, let's kick the moonroof back. Uh, where's my lighting? Okay, there's my lighting. So, so far, no leaks. It looks pretty darn awesome. I don't see any water coming in through the windows. No water coming in through the moonroof. Windshield. Guys, I think we are great. So, after the car wash, I am going to take pictures of this thing. And it's going up for sale tonight. And the time has come. In front of me, I no longer have the Audi A4. The car was sold a few hours ago and I made pretty good money on it. I sold it for $1,400. If my mind serves me right, I put $516 into the car. Off video, I replaced all the spark plugs on it. Um, you guys saw me do the brake job and I had a young lady come out and she really, really liked the car and she purchased it. So that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Next video will probably be finishing up the Mazda and then we'll see what else I pick up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another one.